Welcome back to Computer Games, and it's time for a Guardian Siege Battle against Beer Club, the Magic Technology Institute, and of course, we're coming from the Boss Hotel. Now, some of our subscribers, our viewers, have requested that we feature the defenses on the towers of the Siege Battle Battlegrounds, right? So here are the defenses from the Red Tens. Okay, it's a mix of these Bastet defenses. I really like this one with that OP LND monster, Leona. Here are our base 10 defenses. We have Nephthys Towers, or rather bases. At the same time, of course, Savannah. I really want a Savannah. <laughs> now, we are attacking the bases of Beer. We got here Tomb with that Bulwark, Emilia, and Skogul. Look at that beautiful Zeratu. Here's Justin attacking it with that Kali. That's a Chasun together with a Dark Dalsir. <laughs> nice. And of course, Wapa Dragon with that a Jamair, Tablo, and Lucian. Tablo is just going to put those guys to sleep or reduce their attack bars, that is. Now here's Hawk with that Polver Emilia together with a Molong this time around. And of course, A with his own Neptis. Perna and the Water Monkey King, also known as Shi Hu. Okay, nice offensive teams from our guildies. You also requested to see the performance of the defenses. The win is to loss ratio. Okay, wow, this one with the Ziratu has been winning. How about this one? Hertit, really nice LD monsters. Okay, and now let's go look at Yellow 9. It's a base full of these Bastet, Odin, and Pernas. It's being attacked by our guildies. Let's see Coconut here. Bring in that Luis, Perna, and of course, Rocky. Just bring in your monsters on wheel, you should be good. And again, here's Red Minion with that, that's it, Tessarion, Camilla, and Eladriel. Here's Joe. Gojo with the Praha, that's Ganymede and the Toa Queen Rika. Ice Americano, this time bringing in that Luis Camilla, but this time with a Second Awakened Rauk. And here's Sally the Cutie with that Miho, together with a Copper and Immensity. Oh, hey, nice teams from our guildies. Let's see how the attacks work here. And again, just remember, we only show you teams that actually work. Okay. Yep, we're sniping the towers and supposedly doing sneaky attacks so that they aren't able to actually counter us. And plant on our towers, that is. Okay, next one. We're doing another one. Another sneaky attack tower on this red 10 of the Magic Institute 1. Here's Danielle. Bring in that Luis, Rocky, and of course, Camilla. Here's Papa Dragon with that Kumun, Bastet, and Odin. Going for the sniper. Okay, and Hop Step with that Delphoi. Oh, this time, Arena together with a Tessarion. And here's Grand Z with that Miho, Immensity, and Copper combo. Well, okay, it's our turn to attack, and we're gonna bring that set our very own Luis, Rocky, and Camila. We changed up our runes a bit. We put our Luis and our Rocky on immunity, on will. Because, you know, just to make sure that we're safe against this Violent Bastet. These defense towers are built on Violent Bastets. That's why with the Violent Proc, if they put a defense break on, like, our Luis or Rocky, and then that Perna gets that turn because, you know, this Bastet just gave her that attack power buff and at the same time attack bars, right? Um... Normally, I would go for the kill here on this Odin, but... Okay, yeah, it's, for me, it's actually safer 
because then with that HP lead from our Luis here, even if say Perna is able to kill our Rocky and our um, Luis, our Camilla can actually tank them because our Camilla is on a violent destroy set. And again, we've put artifacts on her to actually, you know, give her more heals with that first aid passive. And yep, can either again go for the crush or the kill on that Perna, let that Odin actually survive and you know, just give him the knowledge because again, we have a tanky Camilla anyway. However, if that happens, then it's going to be a bit dangerous in the sense that if that Odin keeps procking, no, he procs, he steals the buffs from Camilla, it's just a bit dangerous. You know, it's a bit dangerous in the sense that Camilla, yeah, you can get more knowledge and just snipe your Camilla. And if that happens, that's going to be a pretty much GG. It's a 3 versus 1 now. There's no way this Bastet is going to solo us. But at the same time, we are sniping this tower. And we have to finish it all together. Now let's just poke this Bastet a little bit. Mm-hmm, that's dangerous. With that attack break. Okay, time to go. Oh no. Shoot on the Oasis Blessing. But it's fine. Let's go for the Soul Crusher. Okay. The idea is, of course, to end all together just in time for, you know, when the opponent realizes that you actually closed on that base. They won't be able to plant in your towers. Okay, next up, we got this base with the Kumun, Vigor, and Triana. Here's Coconut with the Water Twins, Sabrina, Talia, and Harmonia. And here's Hopstaff with that Martina, Shaina, and this time around, a Triana. Okay. Twins for the double kills. Here's Grands with that Water Twins. And again, that's Harmonia, right? And of course, Papa Dragon with the Water Twins and Harmonia. It's just a really good team. You know, if, if you prepare for, you know, attacking these defenses, we're gonna go use that again. We got the Water Twins together. This time, I'm gonna bring in Harmonia so that Harmonia will be able to tank Kumun and the Second Awakened Vigor. We're pretty sure that this trigger is gonna go. Okay, good thing we were able to reset that because then with a defense break on our Harmonia and then like really crit damage HP build with this Kumon, it's going to do a lot of damage and can actually kill our Harmonia. Okay, Pops, Salvation Passive. Triple Strike. Let's go, go, go. Okay, so far so good. They're not, they're getting a little bit of um, Valent procs, but not too much. Okay, they go straight. That's very dangerous. Now, triple strike. I'm thinking, should we kill this Kumun? No, we have to kill this Vigor because we still have unwanted harmony. And we can basically just, I don't know, we need a Valent proc. Lower the health of this Kumun because we're gonna kill him next. No violent proc. Okay. Can we crit? Oh no. Okay, this is dangerous. But again, we have to keep killing or continue working on this Vigor here because he's just the main threat. Okay, nice one. Oh! Okay, kill. Oh no, here come the Valent Rocks. Good thing we are tanky. And we have that immunity. Can we kill this Kumun? Okay. Let's go. Defense break. 
kill. Nice. 30k damage. No way that Kumon survives that. Okay, unwanted harmony. Of course, she goes for the heal. Yeah, be careful. Uh, nowadays, this Triana is actually being built on a crit damage build. Yeah, they're doing more damage. I know. It's just crazy. Alright, good job, guys. Onwards to the next tower. We are attacking this Kumun second awakened figure in Iris defense. Um, one of our subscribers recommended this team. It's a Kumun Lauren together with a Triana. Let's go try it out. Okay, we're gonna get the first turn. I'm thinking we do have our Kumun here on crit damage and we need to kill this Iris because Iris is going to be providing stuns. Oh, but no defense break. Yeah, we kind of needed a defense break on this Iris, but... Oh, the Valen... Okay, there goes the defense break. Uh oh, stuns, shreds, oh man, even got the despair stun, what's up with that? Oh man, two turns every turn now. This Vicar is doing a lot of damage. Mm, will we be able to kill? Oh wow. Man. That vigor though. Yeah, I'm thinking if we could have brought more immunity on this against this vigor though, but yep, keeps Valent procs. I mean every time you get the Valent proc, the cooldown goes away. And at the same time. Yep. Not good. <laughs> ah. Can't win against a defense like this. <laughs> nice. Nice build. Definitely a nice build. Look at that guy go. Yeah, I don't think we can win it. Well, that's a GG. Um, wow. I think this Vigor is something like on a 50,000 HP Vigor. Well, thank you for that recommendation. Um, that's a GG, but yep, we may, it can work. Actually, maybe we'll just need a little bit of RNG on our side next time around. Okay, GG. Okay, next one. <laughs> well, yep, yeah, we're waiting for this red seven over here. And yep, yeah, it's a base for these Luis, that's Jean, and of course, Skogul, right? Okay, our guildies are attacking here. Let's see what they're bringing in. Here's Brito bringing in a Fran, that's a Garo together with a Laika. Okay. Next one is Keng Lai bringing in that Cyrus, Tiana, and Rika. Yeah, I like that one. Going for the dots and the stunts. Okay, now. Here's Spicy Lisa with that Fran, Birdie Heal, and Perna. Okay, let's go attack this defense over here. We're bringing in our double Fairy Kings with a Fran. With the speed lead from Fran, we should be able to... Wow, a very fast Luis. Well, although we don't exactly have the fastest... Oh, whoa, whoa, wee, wah. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest Ganymede, but let's go kill this Skogul because this Skogul is just, you know, very dangerous right now. Uh, okay, nice defense break. Can we kill? Nice one. Okay, yep, the Valent procs are still not finished. Um, however, let's go heal our Daphnis here. Looking at the attack bars. 
we still have reset right okay nice and then seal magic on to this I'm thinking if we should do Luis, but given the violent procs earlier, I just want to play it safe. So I'll reset this John, right? Okay, nice violent proc. Because then we can put up our immunity here. And then at the same time, even if, say, this Luis goes for the shields, we will need her to put shields anyway. Mainly because we're going to go for our Daphnis here. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh oh, uh oh, don't provoke. Can we snipe? Uh, I'm thinking I want to save it. But let's go for. Okay, reset again. Man, but she just stunned our friend. Can we kill? With no attack buff. Okay, yep, Gucci. Yeah, because if, you know, on the next few turns, she could have, you know, gone for, like, provokes or whatever, but yeah, that was just the safer play, I guess. Okay, now we're getting the violent box. Okay, Hellfire again. No oh, way, GG. All right, we got one more base standing here. Let's see who's attacking it and what team they brought in. Okay, here's Jin Yao with that Kumun. That's a fire succubus, Arya, together with the Ladian. Oh, sorry, Akia. That's Akia, not Arya, Akia. Okay, and of course, that attacks of our guildies earlier. Okay, GG. Onwards to the next defensive tower. All right, we have here again Bastet and Odin Perna defenses. Let's go hit this one. I'm gonna bring in our Zyros and of course a Galleon lead just to make sure we get that speed lead ahead. We have done a bit speed of you know, speed tuning, and I'm hoping this Bastet does not cut in, right? And, uh-oh, a resistant Odin. Well, we're going to kill this Perna, and he's gonna get knowledge. No attack buff. A violent proc. Well, he got the attack buff from our Galleon. And he got that. Okay. <laughs> Good thing. Good thing all the debuffs work there. Okay. Now here's Jinya with that Tessarian. That's a Camilla and Triana. Okay, nice one. And okay, here's Spicy Lisa with that Theo. That's a Laika and Triana as well. Germster with that Luis, Tisarian, and that's a Camilla. Okay, I'm thinking I want to attack this one. It's a Ciara, John, and Gianna. Yeah, I want a Gianna. We're gonna bring our Lucian together with another Galleon. We have three Galleons. How about a slower Galleon? Okay, that's a Galleon, Frigate, and Lucian. Let's go cleave it. Will it work? Will that Gianna cut in? Let's see. As you may have seen, we did speed tune and add a little bit of speed to our Lucian, so they shouldn't be able to cut in here. Okay, now the next question is, can we kill? Alright. Yeah, even if she puts that protection, well, of course, Valent procs out of it. <laughs> yeah, even if she, if she did, you know, um, we'll get our turns around and that Jean wouldn't exactly do a lot of damage, so... Yep, GG. 
Next tower is Red 11 and it's being attacked here by our guildies. Here's Granzi with that Leo together with that Rihanna and Diana. Okay, next one. Here's LD Nat 5 or no pack with that John, Skogul, and Leo. Well, it's a mix of that, you know, Theomars, but let's go attack this one. Let's bring in a different team this time. We can either. Yeah, I'm thinking if we can bring in like this comp. Because every time, you know, you put Leo, that again, Savannah won't be able to, you know, decrease attack bars, right? Now, I'm thinking. Let's bring in our Fang Yan together with our Emilia and Perna, right? Yeah, we're gonna cleanse that, we're gonna attack that, and we're gonna go for the kill. Except if RNG gets a stun, everyone stunned. Okay, good thing. Water resists wind. There goes the giant roar. Okay. Oh, crit damage. The Galleon for sure doing a lot of damage there. But we're gonna go cleanse that. Okay. Um, let's go kill this Savannah. OP Savannah, beautiful Savannah. Come to us, please give me a Savannah. Let's put a defense break on her so that <laughs> We'll get the attack bars, we're gonna get the turn. Perna's gonna get the turn, that is. And then we should be able to kill. Or get her off the beast. And a violent proc. Nice one. Yep. OP Savannah. But this Kalyan though, going violent crazy. It's not yet over. Uh, can we freeze? Nice freeze. Okay, whoop, whoop, violent procs. No, don't go for my Perna. Okay. Well, even if this Galleon gets a kill on our Perna here. Yeah, three, you know, two versus one, no way. But the procs are crazy with that Galleon though. Did you see that? Yeah, GG. And we are on a rush here. Um, we're finishing bases. Okay, we got this Bastet Tower. Here's Jin Yao. Look at that. It's a talk, Rocky, and Ritesh. Nice one. Here's A. Bring in that Jamair together with the Katarina. And of course, QB. Okay. Next one. We see here Granzi. That's again Thessarian with a Perna and Petra. Okay. Oh, I targets all over the place now. Okay, here's Spicy Lisa. That's a Bastet together with a Ciara and a Daphnis. Okay, nice one. There goes Grand Z. Yep, this Alexandra is just very tricky because you don't have to put crit rate on her because this one just definitely does a lot of damage and gets a hundred percent critical rate so she's gonna be doing a lot of damage when she's transformed to that human form and yep a very nice lnd unit gz for that okay good job guys finishing up bases okay a Kumun, Vigor, and Iris Tower once again, but this time from Beer. Here's Brito with that Vigor, Aegir, and Iris. Next up, we got here Jin Yao with that Malaka, Isaria, together with a second Awakened Elusia. Okay, let's go try this defense again. Okay, it looks like it's doing pretty well. Must be built very well too. Well, we're gonna bring in our built Susano. Yep, Susano. I'm thinking, how about Orion? We can either do a Stella, but I want to control this 
um, Iris a little bit. So, yeah, well, we got a team from Red Minion. How about we try out this Elusia? Okay. That's Susano, Orion, and Elusia with a speed lead from water. Let's go. Of course, our Orion. Oh wow, a really fast vigor, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm thinking, who to kill first? Well, we need to kill the defense breaking vigor, right? But at the same time, we need to CC this Iris because if the defense or the RNG goes her way, she's going to be able to uh, CC us, you know, with the stuns. And at the same time, we can actually put this vigor to sleep. Now while that figure is sleeping, let's go kill this Iris. Because at the end of the day, we can actually CC this Vigor, right? Let's go for the freeze on the Vigor. Okay, put a defense break. Nice. Uh-oh. We need to proc. No proc. Let's go keep working on the CC on this Vigor. Right, bigger or iris? Let's go bigger. Okay, nice freeze, nice revenge. Uh, we'll have to cleanse this one. Okay, okay, stun and defense break, please. The defense break is on this bigger, so we can actually kill this bigger. Let's go for the sleep on this iris, decrease attack bars with slicing. Oh, nice damage. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go cleanse that. On the next turn, we can kill this Vigor. Alright, 3 versus 2 now. It's not yet over. Okay, nice proc. Let's go sleep this Iris again. So that we can work on this Kumun. Decrease attack bars. Whoa! <laughs> nice team. Nice one. <laughs> nice damage from Susano, right? OP. <laughs> okay, there goes base from Beacom. And we're gonna wait for the next towers to go off cooldown. Nice team. Thank you, Red. Okay, we are kind of ra racing for bases here. Um, we're waiting for bases to go off cooldown and we're just hitting. Okay, we got here yellow 11. Right, it's a mix of just different defenses that Beer is putting up. Let's go attack this Fangyan, Leo, and Wusa, but Justin is in. Let's go for this one, the Triple Dragon Knights, Leo, together with the Chao and of course Laika. Let's go bring in our Molong, Icarus, and Beta. But again, the question here is, of course, are they on Violent or Vampire? Well, we'll see. Hmm, I'm thinking we should go for the kill on Chao first, right? Because Chao is going to be getting more attack power while you know if all the his teammates are gone right okay kill on the chow three versus two oh but this Laika yeah we brought in our vampire molong here and it's going to be tanking this leo Oh man, but this, this like a, uh oh, violent proc. This like a keeps revenging though. Oh. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Ah, oh, the violent proc. And again. Oh man! <laughs> Can we stun here with Dragon's Dance? No stun. Wow! Wow! 
so many violent procs. Yeah, I don't know. Can we kill this Leo with reckless assault? But then if that happens, yeah, we'll need our Molong to survive because then we have this Laika Laika one on one on with Beta. I don't know. Let's go lower the health. Oh man. Two to three turns every turn now. Ooh. Oh man. What's going on? Can we stun? Okay. Oh. It's a dot on Molong. There goes the torrent. Oh man. <laughs> That's a crazy difference though. Underestimated it. Yeah, we still have the Wusa. We could have just brought in a Wusa together with, I don't know, something. Ugh. Okay, well, here's Germster with a Garo, Molong, and Harmonia. Yeah, we were rushing. We didn't think that through pretty well, did we? Okay, Sally the Cutie with the Juno together with the Annabelle, and that's a Rika. Okay. Alright, we got one more attack to go. Yep. They didn't feel their defenses anymore. But anyway, this one will just bring in our Bulwark together with Emilia and Skogul. Okay, I like his plan because then that Juno was supposed to strip, right? Strip and then this, uh, what do you call this? Berad is going to go for the freeze. Um, however, yeah, and then of course, once frozen, Fang Yan is going to go for the defense break. But yeah, I mean, overall, it can work, but not enough damage. Even if, say, this Berad is able to freeze, or go violent crazy um, yeah they wouldn't have enough burst damage and even if say Verad is actually able to go for two skill two and skill three you know, eventually the freezes were gonna go off and yeah yeah uh, not enough damage on this defense though but yeah with a uh, Emilia together with a Bulwark and Skogul Definitely easy peasy because of that Atlas Stone. <laughs> uh, yep, more stacks for our Bulwark at the same time. Yep, Emilia for the immunity and the cleanse. Okay, well, that's all our monster attacks for today. And let's see here Sally the Cutie bring in Firepower with a Rock Khan together with. Mei Yuang and the Fire Pony, also known as Helena. Good job, guys. And we're we'll go wait for the results of this siege battle. GG, well played to the Magic Technology Institute one, and of course to Beer Club. All right, now time for our SSS trophy box. Let's go for the shiny man, the shiny trophy box. Oh, hey. Let's go, I don't know, randomly pick. Wow, legendary summoning pieces. Okay, let's go beside this one that just... Shiny, no! <laughs> A very blue SSS trophy box filled with mana. Well, uh, that's okay. I mean, that's also 70,000 mana. Maybe around... Three runs of dragons. Okay. Let's go sell that. Let's go check out what our guildies got here. Should be nice. Okay, GZ guys. And that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. And thank you for watching. May the forest be with you. Have a great week ahead.
We'll see you on the next one.